Hey there everyone. So, in between my currently insane working hours and everything else that's going on right now, uh, I don't have a lot of time to myself, so I'm still not able to continue on and finish up the generations. So today, I thought we were gonna do a side quest thing uh, that's connected with the current fate uh, event that's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Even. Thank goodness you're here. The reason I called is because something strange happened in Dumbarton. As you know, we keep lost and found items in the Dumbarton town office. We also have very old items as well. To keep the old ones a bit more sanitary, we let them dry in the sun to time, time to time. But lately, lost and found food items have gone missing while drying. We don't think animals took them, but humans. It's not a huge problem since the items were lost, but we're worried that the items are unsafe to eat. We've gathered a total of 10 suspects. Please identify the culprit and tell them not to eat the food. And of course, tell them not to steal item, these items. Please read the investigation log on the Mabby Novel Bulletin Board and find the suspects with, without alibis. To assist, you can register one character per account with your like to register. Yes. I'm doing this on my main character because she is the one uh, I've been... I've registered as the author of my account, so I don't know if that uh, makes it harder to do if you're not, but I'm not taking the chance. I'm so glad you want to help us. I'll tell you th the details a bit later. All right. I should be getting... Yes. Oh, I got two. Collect five detective marks. Uh, solve the case to collect detective marks. Can we earn from finding the culprit in the daily quest find the suspect? Uh, detective checked all the alibis. Please read detective's log. X, two, three, and four. And tell me which suspect has no alibi. Okay. I'm gonna go to my homestead and do this. Also, I really like this new little thing they've added. The Mabby novels. Uh, it's really quite an interesting thing. Alright. Uh, which ones did they say? Ten, two, three, and seven? Okay, so ten. I am Detective J, a professional detective that investigates the mysteries of Dumbarton. This case has ten suspects. These are the interrogation records of Lilias, one of the suspects. So, what were you up to at the time of the incident? close this out. That was the day all of the aged honey drinks were ready. There were no jousting tournaments that day, so I thought I would try to sell some of them. I have a large customer base in Tara, but I wanted to expand my business, so I went out a little further than I normally do. Wow, this honey works wonders for the body. 
A healthy body means a healthy life. That healer guy was yelling that left and right, and then he bought around half of my drinks. That is to be expected. He is a healer after all. He wanted to buy all of my drinks, but if I sold everything to him, then it would defeat the purpose of trying to expand my business, right? So I went to Tirchanel after I left Dumbarton. I met a few people, but they really had no interest in my product. I decided to seek out someone who is a health nut, kind of like that healer guy from before. Welcome, welcome. I am working on some, some horseshoes. Would you like some? That was the offer I got while looking for a customer, but it was one heck of a deal. I would have been an idiot not to take it. So quick to abandon your mission. So I used the money I got from selling drinks in Dumbarton to buy a whole bunch of horseshoes. And you know what? None of them fit my horse. Maybe they could fit a cow, but this is a jousting are arena, not a barn. And whose fault is that? Just because the price is low is no reason to overstock yourself. She may be profit driven to a fault, but she is not someone who would lie. Looks like the alibis for these three all check out. Um, two. I'm Detective J. Uh, these are the interrogation records of Tracy. So, where were you at that time of the incident? I was chopping firewood in the camp like I do every day. It was really hot out, so I ended earlier than I usually do. I decided to repair the axes, but I ended up scratching out up my beautiful skin. Our views on beauty are worlds apart. A scar on my skin is the same as burning down an entire forest. The very thought made me sick, so I went to see Dillis. Dillis? In Tirchanel? Yes. Dillis is very pretty. But someone so frail could not possibly help someone as muscular as I am. I really want to say something, but I had better not. What did you do to get so big and strong? Come, let me have a look. You know how it is. Your muscles should be treated by a muscle expert. While I was getting treated, Manus and I were talking about muscles until... Got any spare change? I also take food. Only five star T-bone uh, steaks, please. That was what, what this beggar said when he came in. This guy was nothing but skin and bones. He did not look good at all. Manus and I gave him some profound advice about health and exercise. But he simply shook his head and went on his way. So rude. We were just trying to help him. Advice and help are not the same thing to a beggar. Sounds like he was hungry. He may lack even the slightest bit of common sense, but he does not seem like a person who would lie. The alibis for these three all seem to check out. Uh, three. These are the interrogation records of Manus. Can you tell me where you were uh, at the time in question? Well, there were very few injured visitors that day, so I quietly worked out by myself. Your health is your biggest asset, after all. Hold on, I'm just gonna... There we go. Had to attach the charger to my headphones. Um, I think it was a little past noon. You ripped your clothes again, Manus. Perhaps you should stop bulking up. Your clothing size keeps changing, and muscles are not very elegant. That was what Simon said. He even gave me a healer dress personally. Normally, he would have one of the militants deliver it. He may not seem like it, but Simon has a very kind heart. He sometimes makes clothes for the townspeople for free. 
What Manus said about Simon bothers me for some reason, but I'm not sure why. Since things were pretty slow, I decided to return the favor, so I made Simon a health drink. Simon, you should really take care of your health. Look at you. You look weak because you spend all day inside, and your clothes are all baggy. His clothes were... baggy? I added some special ingredients to make my specialty, the Buff Enough Health Potion, and took it to the clothing shop. On the way, I came across a woman who had collapsed on the road. I later discovered that she is a friend of Neri's. She was famished, so I tried to feed her some of the Buff Enough Health Potion, but she ended up drinking the whole bottle. Ugh. Oh. Overloading your body with nutrients on an empty stomach can be very harmful. The woman was a bit careless. For a person who nearly killed someone, he remains awfully dignified. I hope Osla is okay. His health obsession does worry me, but he is no liar. These three alibis all check out. And let's see, seven? Was it? Right? These are the interrogation records of Birched. Birked. Can you tell me what you were doing at the time of the incident? Hmm? So now you interrogate your teacher? Oh, he is my teacher. Um, well, teacher, I mean, Mr. Burkett. Today I am Detective J. I would appreciate your cooperation with this investigation. I have no idea what is going on, but I can tell I am getting involved in something annoying. Where was I that day? Ah, yes. After a full day of handling herbs, I was thirsty for a glass of wine. I was long overdue for a drink, so I went looking for Devi at the Teletian Bank. Teltian Bank. Okay, okay. You wanted your wine, right? I will find it for you right away. I should definitely order another crate next time. After he said that, he went right into the vault to get the wine. He had to have known that I did not deposit any wine there. Poor Devi. On behalf of Burkett, I apologize. Suddenly, a sweet smell came from the vault. When I asked Devi what was making that smell, he said it was from the honey drink from Tara. Well, the smell alone was enough to convince me to make my way over to Tara. That is where I met Lilias. The young lady who makes the honey drink. Oh, you poor old man. You look exhausted. Here, take a swig of this honey drink. It will cleanse you entirely and restore your energy. She was so kind when she offered me the drink. So very friendly. The next thing I knew, I had bought a bunch of honey drinks. I have some with me if you would like one. He can act like a child sometimes, but I know my teacher. I mean, Mr. Burkett, quite well. He is not the type that lies. That means the three of them have iron-tight alibis. Okay. So, I need to find the one with no alibi? Uh, it says 10, 2, 3, and 7. But all of them have alibis. So... I'm gonna go ahead and read the rest of them. And see if I can find anything. Uh, interrogation records of Fergus. So where were you at the time in question? Why are you asking me this again? I told you I was making the gathering axe that I got an order for. I am a master blacksmith. Everybody wants me to work on their equipment. It was a chilly night and awake I was shining brightly, like it was blessing my hammer or something. 
Erica, you were smithing in the middle of the night? I was creating art, a masterpiece. I kept one as a souvenir if you want to see. This handle is completely bent. And what about this stubby excuse for a blade? The shape makes it look like a hoe more than an axe. I was so proud of my work that I delivered it to the Dougal Eye logging camp myself. Why would you do this all in the middle of the night? And you said Dougal Isle logging camp? So the person who ordered the axe must be Tracy. Yes, he may seem dull on the outside, but that guy really knows how to pick an axe. Oh, hello Fergus. Is this the axe I ordered? Let me see. This feels way better than my old axe. It has a perfect grip. You always amaze me, Fergus. That was all he said. He seemed really happy. It was probably too dark to see. Did you return to Tirchanel right after delivering the axe? Well, a few days before, Simon in Dumbarton had ordered a bunch of needles. I delivered those as well. Most blacksmiths deal with big hunks of metal, but when you reach my level, you can make something as delicate as a needle. I was not inspired by the Eweka as one would imagine, but it was still a very sturdy needle. However, oh no, Mr. Fergus, I need a sewing needle to make elegant dresses with, not a fishing hook. Can you believe it? A complaint? I mean, my hands did slip a few times, but it was still a perfectly functional needle. A perfectly functional needle? Poor, poor Simon. Well, his story may be exaggerated, but I do not believe he is lying. All three of their alibis appear to be solid. So, are all of the alibis solid when you read them and you have to piece together which part doesn't fit in with the rest? I'm gonna go talk to Even and see if what they, she says. Because so far, none of them have no alibi. Did you find the suspect with no alibi? Would you like to report now? Was there anyone with no alibi? Uh... Not really. The beggar, maybe? I don't know. Who's Keith? We didn't mention him, did we? I see. No wonder you had a nervous look on your face all day. I will make sure they don't make a fuss over it again. Thank you for your help. I will let you know if anything else happens. Did I get it right? Looks like I did. I didn't expect to. Got a detective mark. And a lost and found gift box. Okay. What's in this? Eggplant seeds. Okay. Well, I think that sums it up for this time. That was really all I had planned. I was expecting it to take a little bit longer. Uh, but that was it. I'm going to have to take a day someday to go through all of the alibis, but 
So far, I really like this event, really. And I really, really like the Mavi novel feature. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a segment where I go through and read some of them. So if you want me to do that, let me know and maybe suggest a Mabi novel or, t or two to start off with. And I will see if I do that. Uh, anyway, have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.